What's up guys, my name is Trent and welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I really like and that is tattoos. I realized I hadn't really mentioned much about tattoos on the channel. I did make one video about getting my elbow tattooed, but besides that, I haven't really talked about it. So I figured I would do a little tattoo tour, kind of walk you through all the tattoos that I have currently, um, explain you know where I got them, who I got them from, that sort of thing. So if you are interested in learning more about my tattoos, then definitely keep watching. So I think I'm gonna start off with my first tattoos and kind of move through in the order that I got them. So first up are my wrists. I got script on my wrist. And now these are the only ones that mean something. So on my right wrist, I have the word optimist written in like a basic script. Uh, I pretty much just got that because I want to always have like a positive outlook. I've definitely let negative thoughts come into my life just like everyone, but I got that kind of as a reminder of, yo, be optimistic, see the good in everything, just kind of a positive message. So yeah, I figured first tattoo, good meaning, let's go for it. My left wrist is also script. I got these two at the same time and this one says destined. And I got it because I've played drums about 16 years now. It's, it's always been my passion. It's always where I've seen myself as far as a career, as far as what I wanna do with my life. It's to make music that impacts other people's lives the way that my favorite bands have impacted me. I listen to certain music and it makes me feel like I could do anything that I wanna do. And basically, I, I just wanna make music like that to impact other people's lives. That's what I've always seen myself doing. Um, this is a really long rant on one little tattoo, but yeah, these are the only tattoos that have meaning, so that's what those mean, next tattoo. So after I got these when I was 18, I waited a couple years. I don't think I got my next tattoo until I was around 21 or 22 maybe, and I went kind of all in, I figured out what style I really liked and just kind of went with it. So my next tattoo is this panther rose right here in my ditch. It's pretty big. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the full size of my hand from fingers to the bottom of my palm. And this one was done by one of my favorite tattoo artists. His name is Mark Cross. He's actually based out of Brooklyn, New York. Um, he just does really bold, traditional, the epitome of my style tattoos. That's what he does. To this day, this is still probably one of my favorite tattoos that I have. I got it when he was guest spotting at a tattoo shop called American Electric in Silver Lake. Yeah, I just decided to go big or go home. This is something that I wanted. I saw, you know, flash on his Instagram. I was like, dude, I gotta have that. So I headed down there with my buddy Wayne and got this. After I got my ditch, I moved on to my forearm and this one is basically a dagger with an eagle handle and then a dragon wrapped around it. Um, this one is also by Mark Cross. Uh, I got about six months later, he was guest spotting at a different tattoo shop in the LA area, actually in Long Beach. Um, I don't remember the name of the tattoo shop, but yeah, got this one in Long Beach. And going into this appointment, I had no idea what I was gonna get. So I pretty much just told him, yo, I like dragons, I like eagles. And he showed me just the eagle dagger by itself that he said he really wanted to tattoo. And uh, he's like, well, if you want a dragon, let's just wrap a dragon around it. And I was like, done. After that, I got two tattoos at the Salt Lake City Tattoo Convention. I drove from California to Utah with my girlfriend and my friend Alex flew in from Colorado and we just made it kind of a cool little tattoo vacation. Um, so I got two tattoos, the first one that I got was by Mike Adams, and it's this sad crying heart right here. Uh, I really liked his style because he was doing the all black kind of stippled shading, which I didn't have any tattoos like that to this point, but it kind of still fits in with that traditional style. So I got that one. And then right after that, uh, same session pretty much, I got this scorpion that wraps around this heart. Uh, by Josh Stevens. I've been following him on Instagram for a while before I got tattooed and he's done a bunch of scorpions and I just knew I had to get one. So I thought it was really cool. He doesn't use a stencil or anything. He just drew it straight on with some Sharpies and got to tattooing. So yeah, that was a really fun trip and I just remember good times hanging out with my girlfriend and my best friend in a place that I hadn't been before. So yeah, 
After I got those two, I got another tattoo by Mike Adams, this time in LA. He was guest spotting at Martlet Tattoo Parlor. So I drove up there again with my girlfriend and my buddy Alex flew in for that one too. And I ended up getting an Indian girl head on the back of my wrist here. Same kind of classic Mike Adams style with the, the black stipple shading. As I was leaving the shop, I asked him like, hey man, how long are you gonna be in town? Do you have any more openings? And he said, yeah, you wanna come back on whatever. It was like a few days later. So I got another tattoo and that is my next one. And that is the back of my arm, which is this wolf guy, like a crawling wolf. Um, same style, all black. Um, this time not really stipple shading, it's just normal shading. Pretty badass and uh, yeah, that's my next one. After that one, I think I got this one next on my inner arm. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a butterfly. I also got this one at the Martlet Tattoo Parlor by an artist named Ryan Schaefer. Um, pretty much every one of my tattoos is done by an artist that's guest spotting in another location. I follow a ton of artists on Instagram and every time they post like, oh, I'm gonna be in LA, I'm gonna be in Denver, I usually hit them up and try to get an appointment. So you'll notice a pattern with all my tattoos. They're pretty much all done by guest artists. Moving on to the next one, I went off of my arm and down to my foot. Uh, and I got this one as a birthday present from my girlfriend um, by an artist named Max Kuhn. This has got to be one of my favorite experiences of getting tattooed just because it was so non-traditional of how it went down. For those of you that don't know who Max Kuhn is, he's basically just the coolest dude ever. I read an article about him uh, where he talks about how he learned how to tattoo. He taught himself um, because he lived in a shed in someone's backyard for like two years and did nothing but learn how to tattoo, learn how to draw, learn how to paint. Just the coolest dude um, that you'll meet. He's super nice, but basically he goes on these like tattoo road trips, I guess you'd call them. He'll post on Instagram or, or email out all his uh, subscribers that, you know, he's gonna be in these certain cities. And when you email him to get an appointment, he'll tell you, you know, where he's gonna be in your city. And for my case, he was at a hotel in LA, I think it was the Hilton or something, and he just texted me like the day before saying, I'm gonna be in this room and your appointments at this time. So it was totally on the down low, totally illegal, but it was one of the coolest tattoo experiences that I've had. Um, like I said, my girlfriend got it for my birthday present, and I figured to kind of symbolize that, I got a nice little couple with a rose, and I just thought it was super classic, super Max Kuhn style, so yeah. Loved that experience, it was really cool. If you have the chance to get tattooed by Max, I'd say do it because he's a rad dude and it was a super fun tattoo experience. <laughs> the next tattoo I got after my foot was on my wrist and it's this little arrowhead with a mountain kind of scene within it. Uh, this is after I had moved back from California to Colorado and I got this by an artist named Marina Inoa and uh, she was guest spotting at a tattoo shop called Dedication in Denver. And I just really like this tattoo. It's a small one and I need to fill that space. And it just kind of reminds me of what I'd consider my home to be and that's Colorado. So I just thought that was a cool little tattoo and I guess that one kind of means a little something to me. But yeah, that's that one. After getting my wrist tattooed, we head back to California to get my shoulder tattoo. And that is a ship. This is by one of my all-time favorite artists. His name is Josh Sutterby. He was out in London for a while. I think that's where he's from. And now he lives in Australia with his girlfriend. So when I found out that he was coming to the States and to California, no less, I had to get a spot with him. And I got this ship tattooed while I was on a ship. This was at the Ink and Iron Tattoo Convention, which is actually on the Queen Mary in the Long Beach Harbor. So I thought that was definitely kind of a cool experience. Uh, Alex was also with me when I got this. We both flew out there to get tattooed by an artist that we would definitely not normally be able to get tattooed by. So yeah, that was a uh, fun trip and love the tattoo. So thumbs up. After I got this, I waited probably two years before I got tattooed again, and that's when I got my elbow. This one was done by Ashley Love, who was guest spotting at Dedication Tattoo in Denver again, same place that Marina was at. 
If you wanna see the process of this tattoo, I made a video about it, so definitely go check that out. I will put that in like the suggested videos or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you haven't watched that yet, definitely go check it out. And that's it, that's all the tattoos I have so far. I hope you guys found this video entertaining or interesting at the least. Uh, if you have any questions for me about the tattoos or whatever, leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the flippity flop. Peace out.